once big, lived long ago, and probably went roar. Did you guess? A dinosaur. That's what our theme is today for Storytime Online here from Wood Library. So let's get our first book, which is Bigger Than You. This book is written and illustrated by Haiwan Kuang, and it's published by Green Willow Books. Now that looks like a T-Rex to me. It's got big jaw, big head, little short arms, and he was pretty big. wants to play with me. I'm bigger than you, said the dinosaur. Well, I'm bigger than you, said another dinosaur. I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than you. Grrr. Well, I'm more terrible than you. And I'm your mother. Mom! Now, are you all ready to play together nicely? to play with them on their prehistoric playground. We had a big dinosaur, bigger, massive, immense, enormous, huge, and biggest. Going from the Demetrodon to the Minmi to the, oh dear, how do you say that? Berenciansaurus, Iguanodon, Triceratops with the three horns, Tyrannosaurus, and a Brachiosaurus. And they were on what we would call a teeter-totter. And whatever was bigger would weigh down the side. So he would weigh down this one, but when somebody else came along that was bigger, he'd be up in the air. Well, I have five enormous dinosaurs jumping on the bed. When one fell off, well, he bumped his head. And his mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more dinosaurs jumping on the bed. So four enormous dinosaurs were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Well, his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more dinosaurs jumping on the bed. So that means three enormous dinosaurs were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Well, his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more dinosaurs jumping on the bed. That means two enormous dinosaurs were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more dinosaurs jumping on the bed. That leaves one enormous dinosaur jumping on the bed. When she fell off, oh, she bumped her head and her mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more dinosaurs jumping on the bed. Well, our next story is called Dino. At least I think that's how you say it. If you added an S-A-U-R at the end of it, you would say dinosaur. So without the S-A-U-R, 
I think the title is Dino. This book is written by Diego Weisberg. He did the illustrations and it's published by Templar Books, a division of Candlewick Press. One day, a gigantic egg appeared in our backyard. Crack! We thought it might be a giant canary. Tweet, tweet. Or one of those big lizards that shows up in the summer. Or maybe a huge tortoise. But it wasn't any of those things. It was a dinosaur. He was so cute and friendly that we decided to keep him. We named him Dino, and from that day on, he was our pet. Dino wasn't very big at first, Arr. but he grew and grew and grew until soon he was enormous. And having an enormous dinosaur in the house can be a bit tricky. As he walked along, he bumped, crashed, and smashed things. So we play outside as much as possible. Dino's favorite game is fetch, though he doesn't always bring the ball back. Making f new friends at the park is also a challenge. Dino's roaring for joy can sometimes be misunderstood. Can you roar? And what do you think these dogs would think? Or these cats? Or the duck? Or the bird? I'd be scared. All the excitement of being outdoors makes Dino hungry. And not just for food. He tried a vase, a computer, a chair, a pan, and a car tire. So we have to keep a close eye on him if his tummy starts to rumble. Gurgle, gurgle. Dino does make an excellent guard dog though, because he isn't scared of anything. Well, almost anything. Do you see what he's afraid of? Spider. Oh! Sometimes it's hard to get him to put away his toys at the end of the day. And bath time makes him sleepy. So then it's time for bed. We thought it was tricky having one dinosaur in the house, but then we found three more eggs in our backyard. Crack. Crack, crack. So we got a bigger house. <laughs> They're going to need it, aren't they? Yes. Well, can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out? Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And can you clap, clap, clap your crazies out? Clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap, clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out? Stretch, stretch. Stretch your stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. How about you stand up? Because I bet you're ready to jump. Can you jump, jump, jump your jiggles out? Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump. Jump your jiggles out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you
you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well, what would you feed a dinosaur? This book says dinosaurs love cheese. This is written by Jackie French with illustrations by Nina Rycroft and it's published by Angus and Robertson. I like milk and sandwiches. But dinosaurs love cheese. Monkeys grab bananas. But dinosaurs love cheese. Zebras are fond of flowers. But dinosaurs love cheese. The sign says the big cheese with an arrow pointing. Tigers wolf down pizza. But dinosaurs love cheese. Look, he took all the cheese off of the pizzas. <laughs> Gorillas go for lettuces. But dinosaurs love cheese. In case you're wondering, those are the grocery store shelves that are supposed to have cheese on them. Oh, God. Bears are keen on honey, but dinosaurs love cheese. Giraffes can't resist the trees, but dinosaurs love cheese. Lion cubs lap up ice cream. Goats think carrots are supreme. I'm not sure where they go. Oh, there he is right there. Elephants feel fruit is fun. Camels love a sticky bun, but dinosaurs love cheese. I wonder if they would like a cheese dog. Can you get your hot dogs ready? I've got my five little hot dogs that are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. So four little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. One little hot dog is cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the one went bam. So no little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam. Well, if you have a dinosaur, you need to know how to take care of it. So this is called How to Take Care of Your Dinosaur. It's written and illustrated by Jason Cockcroft and is published by Nosy Crow. Congratulations on your new dinosaur. When you first meet him, you might find that he is surprisingly shy, but don't worry. He'll soon come out of his shell.
it's really important to make your dinosaur feel at home. So why not start with a healthy breakfast to give him plenty of energy for the day ahead? Your dinosaur may be slow to try new foods, but he'll quickly find his appetite. Looks like he likes bananas. After breakfast, your dinosaur may have a lot of energy. This is a perfect time to go for a walk in the park. However, it won't be long until your pet has to poop. So it's advisable to carry a bucket and shovel at all times. Sometimes a bucket and shovel will not be enough. That's a lot of fat poop. Most dinosaurs can't swim and your pet may be frightened near water. It's best to avoid playing near beaches, lakes, or rivers, but a small pond or puddle, or maybe even a fountain, can be fun as long as your dinosaur is supervised. Dinosaurs love company. Why not encourage your pet to meet new people and make friends? This can also be a good opportunity to teach your dinosaur about sharing. See, he's taking all the toys. Remember to feed your dinosaur regularly and make sure he gets plenty of rest. If you're quiet and calm, he might settle down for a nap. Maintaining a routine is important. So make sure to get your dinosaur home at a reasonable time. All dinosaurs thrive on a bedtime routine. So after dinner, a relaxing bath is a good idea. Make sure that the water is not too hot and always use an appropriate amount of soap. When your dinosaur is squeaky clean, consider reading a bedtime story. Don't choose books that are too exciting as these might keep your pet awake. Your dinosaur story time should be calm and quiet. And always remember, if you treat him well, your dinosaur can be a friend for life. Would you like to have a dinosaur for a pet? Might be fun. All right. Well, let's see, should we do another finger play? Hmm. Let me think. So let's do one more finger play and we're going to use our thumbs. Tommy thumbs up, Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your knees and then put them both to Let's have this last story. This is by Jane Yolen, who has done a lot of books about dinosaurs, along with Mark Teague as her illustrator. This one is How Do Dinosaurs Learn to Read? And it's published by Blue Sky Press. I didn't even know dinosaurs could read. How does a dinosaur learn to read? Does he skim through the pages with powerful speed? Does he use his new book as a shovel or bat? Play fetch with the dog or throw at the cat? That's not what you should do with books. Does he sound out the words or just take a quick look? Does she lose her huge temper and then jump on the book? 
Does she flip every page but not really look through it? Does she skip the hard words? Does a dinosaur chew it? Does he read in the tub, make the book a big boat, and then throw a tantrum when it doesn't float? Does he read on the potty while making a mess? Does he stay till the end of the book? Well, I guess. Does she scratch off the words with the tip of her tail? Does he have a big hissy when reading skills fail? Does a dinosaur wail? Ooh. No. She's kind to each book to cover and pages. She reads very carefully and never has rages. She reads out each word till she knows they sound right. When she snuggles in bed, Mama turns down the light. Then he calls to his parents who stand by the door. Please, Mama. Please, Papa. Can I read one more? Tomorrow, tomorrow, little dinosaur. Do you get to read before you go to bed? Either read yourself or have somebody read to you? All right. Well, let's get ready for the flannel board. And I've got it set up already for us. And this is called Dinny Dinosaur, and it's based on a book by Karen Beaumont. On a warm summer day in a prehistoric land, a dinosaur played in the mud and the sand. He filled up his bucket, then he dumped on his head. Oh my goodness, Dinny, you're a mess, his mama said. You're going to need a bath before you go to bed. Dirty Dinny Dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his feet with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Silly little dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your shoes off. Let's take them off. So, back you go. He tried to wash his legs with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Dinny the dinosaur splashed in his tub. Silly little dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your pants off. Back you go. So dirty Dinny dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his tummy with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Silly little dinosaur. Don't you know? You have to take your shirt off. So, back in you go. So, dirty Dinny dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his head with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Silly little dinosaur. Don't you know, you have to take your hat off. So back you go. So Dirty Dinny Dinosaur splashed in the tub. He washed his whole body with a scrub-a-dub-dub. So finally, Mama checked him from head to toe. She looked him up and down and all around and then said, Oh, ho! Said, Mama, don't you wiggle. All the suds will overflow. Little Dinny Dinosaur giggled because it tickled him so. Then, Mama, let's get him out of the tub. And tuck him into bed. 
Then Mama read him stories. Then she sang some lullabies. Soon little Dinny Dinosaur was closing his eyes. I love you, my sweet Dinny, and I always will, Mama said. She hugged him and kissed him and tucked him right in. Well, those are our stories today about dinosaurs. And as you can see behind me, we have lots of books here at the library about dinosaurs. If, so if you're a dinosaur fan, come and check some of them out. We'll be back another time for some more stories with Storytime Online here from Wood Library. Bye-bye.